to get uncomfortable. It's Sue. Actually, I'm going to adjust to the uncomfortableness to soon be comfortable. Hi besties, welcome to my YouTube channel, Deji Nicole. If you're new, my name is Deji Nicole. On my channel, I do personal development, fashion, beauty, you name it. But in today's video, I will be giving, sharing 10 ways on how to reinvent yourself to become a better you. So, long story short, this video was supposed to be a night routine, but I did not record that last night to post it today. Uh, I fell asleep because I was so tired from finals and stuff. So, I am going to record and post this video on the same day. I can do that. But yes, I will be recording a vlog tomorrow, which I'm getting away so yes. So, I'm so happy about that. So, that will be posted next weekend. And I'll be doing my night routine Sunday, and that will be posted next Thursday. So, yeah, and then Saturday's video will be 10 things that you should do before you go to bed. No, 5 things that you should do before you go to bed. So, now you know, like, what to see for today's video that I'm recording on the same day and editing on the same day. Saturday's video, which I'm actually going to record after this video. Next week's video, um, which I'm recording on Sunday, my night routine, and then my other video which I'm recording tomorrow that's going to be posted next Saturday so you know what the next couple of videos will be but like I said in today's video I will be posting if my phone can unlock um not posting but recording on 10 ways on how to reinvent yourself so I'm going to explain that more before I go down my list I did 10 things obviously but before I start this video, I do have a shout out winner, which is actually a good person who um, I met through Instagram. So her name is Sarah Catherine. So thank you for supporting me, Sarah. I know you support me because this girl, this lady, this nice lady, she be DM me like how to stay motivated, um, what like software I use. When I was sick let me tell you guys when i was sick like every time i said like i'm not gonna post a video i'm not gonna record because i don't feel like myself so like when my blood pressure was high when i lost my voice over the weekend besides my elementary best friend who i still talk to after we connecting from 2020 miss sarah dm me and say i hope you get better and she's just the most nicest person ever um so thank you sarah for supporting me and you know i'm always there you know i'm a dm away if you have any questions about content or just anyone to talk to so i just want to put that there so she's today's um shout out winner you should go check out her channel also that will be in the description box down below so yeah today's shout out winner is sarah catherine but before I start today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell notification so every time I post the video, you will be notified, and I also want to say thank you to y'all for my last video. Um, I really thought I was going to get mixed comments in that, in that video that get ready with me slash chit chat, and also on how I take my pictures, but no, it was all positive con um, comments, so I just want to say thank you, even though I say, like, don't be doing like rude comments and stuff but you know people don't listen sometimes but those comments were like on my side so thank you <coughs> allergies but thank you and let's just get on to today's video besties okay so a little disclaimer before I'm trying to think what I'm going to say. But a little disclaimer. Um, if I stop. It's because I'm about to cough. Or maybe sneeze. Um, if y'all like I said. My allergies have been bothering me. Plus I did lose my voice. So and I'm like I got it back. Thank God on Sunday. Um, but like it's still raspy. 
but so just bear with me guys tennessee allergy season when it's springtime when that springtime hits it's just it's horrible but let's just get on to today's video so i'm going to tell y'all 10 ways on how to reinvent yourself but if you want to know what is reinvent yourself it's basically like a glow up i would say so like how to glow up but in so many areas so you're just reinventing who you are as a person who you are as a woman and stuff so i am doing these now and i will probably add some more things that is on my list to my routine to reinvent myself and you can probably start doing these too as well of course it'll be on the screen and they will be in the description box down below but let's just get on to this list also before i start this video please follow me on my social medias um let's get my podcast instagram to 500 followers we're almost there and i'm actually almost to 100 listens on apple Podcasts on my podcast and let me tell you guys i'm so happy so um hard work does go a long way <coughs> So, mm. <coughs> so yeah, but I'm almost like at 100 listens to my podcast, so y'all should go definitely check that out, the link for my podcast, the recent episode at least, um, will be in the description box down below, or just the podcast in general, so go check it out, and if you listen it on Apple Podcasts, go leave a review. But follow my social medias. They will be in the description box down below. And my um personal and podcast Instagram will be on the screen soon. I will be posting my business um Instagram on the screen once I make that. Um, I'm planning to start my business probably this summer, like July-ish. But that will more information will come whenever I decide when in July. But let's just get on to today's video. So, the first thing, if you want to, like, reinvent yourself to a whole nother person, um, especially, I feel like if you're going, if you're dealing, like, with a breakup, or, you know, you stop talking to this one person, a friend, or you move to a whole new state or city, <coughs> golly, or you um just want to change who you are like i said this video is for you um it will also be part of my leveling up with digital you know, call series i forgot to add that but the first thing on my list is create a routine for yourself um i'm creating a routine for myself just throughout the day i have a night routine and i have a morning routine um packed down so I just need to create a daytime routine, especially now that I'm done with school. Like, in-person school, because I am taking summer classes that starts in a few weeks, but that's online, so it would just be better that way. And if you create a routine for yourself, you could have your life in a structured way, and it won't be so hectic than how it was and you won't feel stressed out and fatigue easily so yeah I told y'all my voice is not the best but we gotta do this the second thing to do to reinvent yourself which is so true is focus on the good so if you focus on the negative you're gonna have negative thoughts um so just focus on everything positive and if you do start thinking something negative and i probably mentioned this in another video before but if you do start like thinking something negative you want to feel less um motivated to do something you're gonna stop what you're doing or feel like quitting and um yeah so you want to like find something positive out of something because everything have a positive outcome 
so like me for example i did want to do nursing but i was like i don't feel like we're taking biology 2010 that class is hard i don't, i know i'm gonna fail it which i did and i told myself you know let's still work in the health field but do medical research if y'all don't know i decided either one to do medical research or nursing and that's where i'm gonna go with my bachelor's i am going to either be a dietitian or a um personal trainer or something else but i'm looking for those two but with my master's i do need a master's degree to be a medical researcher so i kind of took failing biology 2010 and because i know i can take any biology with becoming a medical researcher and i just took the positive out of that negative situation so you probably you like you want to take the positive and see the positive out of everything even if it's bad because once you see the positive you're going to forget the negative and it's going to also keep you having a negative not negative but keep you having you're going to keep having a positive mindset than a negative mindset so stay positive okay so number three is change up your diet so i will be doing like a podcast video on uh, video actually yeah it's season two a podcast episode slash video video what did i say video so video slash episode um and a video on this on how to have a good diet maintain diet i will also do what i eat in a day and maybe if that goes good i will do a what i eat in a week want to change your diet so what i tell people because i tell my friend because she wanted like she asked me tips on how she lose weight and sometimes changing your diet does not mean weight issues it can be like to clear up your skin or you know internally then ex externally so <coughs> I'm so sorry in advance in the future um but um your how your body is and how it changes it depends on your diet and eating all healthy foods is not good for you let me repeat that eating all health healthy foods is not good for you now yes like an apple a day keep the doctor away but if you eat too much of something, something bad will happen. It's like if you drink too much water, you will die. So having a balanced diet. So when someone asks me like, how do you lose weight? I'd be like, I have a, I'm naturally skinny, and it's hard for me to gain weight. But I can tell you, try to cut off on sweets, carbs. If you're trying to lose weight, for the people who's trying to lose weight. Cut off on sweets and eat a minimal of sweets. Cut off some carbs and fried foods and all that. If you are someone who stress eats, that's bad. Stop doing that. And this is like because those are factors of your diet. A lot of people don't get that, but it is. And do not focus on just eating healthy have a balanced diet of healthy and not healthy foods because to be honest that's basically what you need you can even like even people who are trying to like have a healthy lifestyle like what you see on instagram not all of those people have a strictly health healthy no sugar no carbs type diet they probably do consume sugars do consume carbs and etc so you want to have a balanced diet and i tell people that like it's better to have a balanced diet than an all healthy diet but it is not healthy to have a not healthy diet or a all healthy diet <coughs> sorry again because again even healthy foods can cause diseases internally because of two is too much in your body so yeah like if you like bananas and you was getting a blood test and your doctor said oh my gosh we see something abnormal in your blood test 
oh you have a high level of, of potassium they're gonna tell you to cut off on bananas even though bananas are healthy they will tell you to cut it off because you have a high amount of it in your system so that's an example of it's a healthy food but having it too high like potassium can do so much harm to your body your body knows also when you need enough of each food okay so the fourth thing ooh, ooh. so the fourth thing on my list is do some spring cleaning and <coughs> Okay, let me repeat that. So number four is do some spring cleaning. Um, so this also means mentally and physically. Physically. So let's go to the physically part. Of course, you see there's a lot of stuff in your house. If you got your own apartment or house, or if you still live with uh, if you live with roommates or parents still, your room. And you notice that there are some things that you don't want. <coughs> oh my god. So there are some things that you don't want but you still have. So give them away. Give them to Goodwill. Sell them on Macari. Um, and that there is physically spring cleaning but how can you spring clean mentally okay so a lot of people don't know you can mentally clean your mind with by just distracting yourself like literally distracting yourself can help you clear out your mind so spring cleaning your mind so let's just say me i failed my biology class but I passed it actually the last time. So the reason why I actually took it is I need a C for the nursing program. But I was like, yeah, no. Mid semester, I was like, I'm not doing nursing no more. So if I was going to be sad on that score I got, that's going to be on my mind for months, right? And this is what I mean. Think positive than negatively. Because negatively, it's going to be still storing your mind for like months. It doesn't come back out of the blue. So you want to actually erase it, change the subject, watch something funny, very interesting, and it will change your mind. And that's how you can basically clean your, like, spring clean your mind. It's just basically think of positive thoughts, watch something funny or be something funny or something positive and stop trying to think of negative thoughts or if you're around negative people because they can give you negative thoughts remove them so like push push them away so yeah mm. okay so Number five is going to be questionable, okay? Questionable, okay? The reason why I say this. And I'm going to explain, especially for people who are content creators. Make, number five is make yourself uncomfortable, okay? Make yourself uncomfortable. Now, let me elaborate with that. Um, whoo. Do not cough, do not cough, do not cough. I'm about to cough. <coughs> okay. Making yourself uncomfortable. It's going to make you a better person. Let me repeat that. Making yourself uncomfortable is going to make you a better person. Now, let me elaborate that. So, that's why I say as a content creator, a lot of people can relate to this. But, 
who's not making the people who's still in the comfort zone they're not going to get what i'm going to say and i'm using content creator as a example and using myself as an example with it so me I'm a shy girl from Tennessee. I always said that, you know, even though I'm out of my comfort zone, I still say I'm still that shy girl from from Tennessee. Middle Tennessee. Born and raised. <coughs> so, I didn't want to really be that shy person no more for some reason. And I feel like with me being from like this actually started from high school. Like I didn't want to be the shy person no more. And I still get in my comfort zone in high school, especially doing presentations. Then me sitting, like standing in front of the class and telling the class what I'm doing. But no, I'll be all out. I'll be loud. And I walk because I knew it made me uncomfortable to walk and talk but it also helped me get out my comfort zone get out this shyness get out this bubble like the bubble just popped you know so now as an adult starting as a youtuber at the age of 19 now that i'm 20 turning 21 it's been a year since i've done youtube um i noticed from my first video because i actually did record me reacting but i had to re-record that video for the summer so that video is still planning out to come um i know this from my first video when i see and i do watch actually some of my videos when i'm bored just i'll be watching youtube when i'm bored in general so like yeah i move my hands and it actually helps me get out of my comfort zone i used to do acting in high school for a year my freshman year i was in my comfort zone stuff but I was also uncomfortable being on stage. You have to be uncomfortable if you want to grow. That's the only thing that you can do if you want to grow is to get out your comfort zone, to get uncomfortable, and soon you actually are going to adjust to the uncomfortableness to soon be comfortable. So if you want to change into another person and reinvent yourself, you gotta get out your comfort zone and you have to so you gotta feel uncomfortable and you're not gonna like it at first and it's gonna take some time it actually didn't take me that long to actually get out my comfort zone once i started youtube so it's gonna take some time it's just depending on the person but if you want to reinvent yourself and change who you are and want to be a better person you have to be uncomfortable i'm sorry to say but if you're not gonna if you're just gonna st okay hold up stop that if you're going to let's scratch what i just said but if you let me repeat if you want to get out your comfort zone you want to reinvent yourself you want to change you have to get out your comfort zone but if you can't then what's the point of changing what's the point of doing something so yeah Okay, we got like four more of this. So number six is taking it slow. It's just a process. Reinventing yourself is a process, people. You have to take slow. Take it slow. And that's what basically everything. You have to take it slow. Because what if you want to change you? right so you're planning to reinvent yourself to a whole nother person but you rushed it and you notice you thought like you say okay i'm giving me six months to reinvent myself right six months but you rush through those six months you never pointed out what you want to change about yourself you never pointed out what was in your diet to change. You never pointed out what habits or bad habits that you wanted to change. You just kept doing it. And when that six month mark ends, you be like, I don't feel different. I feel the same. Cause you rush through the process. So if you want to reinvent yourself, take it slow. Do what you want to change about yourself. 
Look at your diet, see what you're eating. If you want to change your skincare, do that. Just take it slow. That's all you have to do is take it slow. Anything in life, you have to take it slow. Because once you, like, speed it up, go through it fast, rush through it, you're going to miss out on a lot of steps, baby. You're going to take those big leaps, but you're missing all the small steps for that last step that you did a big leap for. It's like goals. If I have an episode, a podcast episode, about how to achieve your goals. And I mentioned this in one of my videos. Is when you break down your goals, you have steps. So, what if you rush through your goals, right? You never did how to achieve that goal or how you want to achieve that goal. So, the goal that never really actually was achievable. You just thought you achieved it but it didn't go out how you planned it so that's why you want to take small steps and then big steps and why you don't want to rush things and why you want to take it slow number ooh, this one for people who like to see things visual people ooh, my necklace came up but um number six been and I love doing this um is create a vision slash plan for your life so like if you like creating vision boards make one for your phone make one for your computer if you have a desk make one put it in a picture frame and set it on your desk I have one and I have never changed it because that's how I want my life um but um create a vision board for yourself or make one on your phone, like I said, make one on your computer, for your computer. Um, mine deleted on my MacBook, so I have to remake one, but I'm going to actually remake one for my MacBook. Um, but create a vision board for yourself. Create a plan for yourself. If you're those type of people who like to write, I'm actually both someone who likes to see things in pictures and in words, create a future plan in your notebook and put five years 10 years and 15 and then write steps on how you're going to achieve that goal and that can actually be more achievable than you just writing it down without having steps you want to always have steps for things so yeah number eight like number six is but number eight it starts mom yes you have the big vision you have the big picture but you want to first see the small picture within the big picture it's like seeing the small box inside the bigger box you want to look inside the box first then outside the box because outside the box is the bigger picture inside the box is the smaller picture but start small, because that's where your step one to step five will probably be. And that's how you're going to see if you want to continue it or not. Because once you start small, you can see if you want to do it or not. So yeah. <coughs> you don't want to start big, because once you start big, and I'm sorry, apologize, oh my gosh, my allergies. But you don't want to start big because, like I said, you're not going to see how to start it. You're only looking at the biggest picture, but you're not looking at the smaller picture inside the bigger picture. It's like the details. I would say the smaller pictures are the details for the big picture. So you're not looking at the details, you're just looking at the pictures the picture overall you're not looking at their little details so when you start small you starting on your details to whatever you want your new life to be or who this new person you're trying to be you want to start with the details because those details will soon build into habits that will soon build into this person you're trying to be
Okay, number nine is start something new you always wanted to try. So no matter if it's a new recipe or if you've never have cooked before or if you have cooked but you was like the same for me, try it again. If you want to try drawing, do that. If you want to try painting, do that. If you want to try writing, oh my gosh, do that. Those three hobbies I just mentioned, actually four, cooking, painting, writing, drawing can actually make you money too because if you think about it, if you cook good, you can be someone's personal chef or you can make meal kits for people if you're love to write or if you know trying to enjoy writing, creative writing, you can become an author or do freelance writing. If you like to draw, you can do commissions and draw things for people. And if you like to paint or you want to get to painting, and let's break painting down. If you like getting into painting and you paint a picture, you can paint portraits for people. You can paint portraits for like Sweet Sixteen, weddings, quinceañeras. All of those big time events. I actually seen a TikToker who paint for like paints events. Like it's just the whole event, and then the people or the main two people or person in that event she paints, and it's so beautiful. Or even women can do this. You can paint your own house and do that for money. You know. So it's like these new things can help you to a hobby that can also help you to some extra cash on the side. So it's like always good to try something new, but it can grow your mindset as well. <coughs> okay, so number 10 is keep a journal with you. You want to always keep a journal with you, a journal with you. You can also use your phone notes as your journal, but you always want to keep a journal with you because you never know what thoughts pop in your head and you can just type it or write it there and you always have it. And if it's also a good a good thought, you have it there. But um yeah, so I'm about to close down this video and then I have to do the second video so let's get to that. So that is it for today's video besties. I'm so freaking sorry that my allergies is bad and I was coughing throughout the video. I am so sorry. It's something I can't help at this moment because Tennessee weather sucks during the spring. The allergy season is, season is so bad so I am so sorry. So sorry in advance um and I want to show you something I have my heart my halter monitor on I have to have it like for another week because I have to get more attachments um adhesive attachments to put on so um yeah I'm not trying to hide it but if y'all if y'all see it that's what it is but um again today's shout out winner is sarah catherine so she's today's shout out winner for today's video again i am sorry through my coughing and sniffling and how my voice sound um but i have to get a video out for you guys y'all the one who keep actually motivates me to keep doing this so thank you we're almost at 900 subscribers so yes and then once i hit a thousand um i don't know when um, I'm doing the giveaway, but I do have a giveaway, probably a skincare giveaway for two people. Um, but maybe one or two people, I don't know yet. But when I hit a thousand, y'all will know. Um, but I hope y'all having a nice and lovely day today. Don't forget to always go after your goals. And I love you guys. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, besties.